Now, in just hours, history will unfold in Miami. Former President Donald Trump is expected to surrender to federal agents, which will make him the first man to occupy the Oval Office and then face federal criminal charges. That's right, Jasmine. Also, an indictment from the Department of Justice alleges the former president took classified government documents at the end of his presidency, hiding them away at his Mar-a-Lago estate. NBC's Jay Gray takes a closer look at the case. Police, federal agents, and protesters have been in Miami for days. Now is my president. Now tomorrow and forever. And I defend him. The crowd and security expected to intensify outside the federal courthouse over the next several hours, where former President Donald Trump is expected to voluntarily surrender to prosecutors. The FBI, Miami police, U.S. Marshals, everyone's monitoring. He'll likely enter the courthouse through an underground tunnel and will be processed by both federal marshals and the FBI. Once inside the courtroom, the former president will enter a plea on 37 counts from seven separate charges, including obstruction of justice, destruction or falsification of records, conspiracy and false statements. We have one set of laws in this country and they apply to everyone. Violations of those laws put our country at risk. Images released by the Department of Justice show boxes of classified documents scattered throughout Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. The former president says he's done nothing wrong, labeling the indictment the boxes hoax. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. Advisors to Mr. Trump say they don't expect him to take any kind of plea deal in the case. The special counsel says he'll request a speedy trial. Jay Gray, NBC News, Miami.